Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this mechanical keyboard by Royal Cluj. This is their RK96 model, and it's considered a 90% full keyboard, um, which means it's got a couple keys missing uh, that, than from a super full size keyboard. Uh, we're going to show you what that is anyways. But I wanted to tell you that the company did send me this product for a review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works because it's got some really, really cool features. So let's take a closer look and see what we get in the package and how this keyboard works. Okay, here's everything you're gonna get in the package. You do get an instruction manual. This is a, considered a mechanical wireless keyboard. And um, it shows you a bunch of different stuff. You can actually connect this keyboard several ways. You can connect it by a wire which is this pos uh, this you know position here, and then you can also um, connect it by Bluetooth. There's actually a couple ways to do Bluetooth. I'm going to show you more of that in a minute. Uh, backlight controls. Um, there is uh, all kinds of functions you can you can custom set the backlights. Has some neat stuff. Multimedia keys for Windows. Um, and for Mac, special feet, keys, that kind of stuff. So some good basic type instructions here with this. So that's that's good. Of course, you're going to get the keyboard. I'm going to show you more details of that in a minute. And this is the cable you get. Now, this also is a charging cable. So um, it's got the uh, USB-A here, but it also this is an adapter. So USB-C, USB-A. USB-A. Now you do need your own power support or supply if you have a little power uh, break or plug it into a computer or whatever to charge the battery because this is battery pack here or you can plug it into the computer directly if you need to as well. So you're going to get the cable. You're going to get um, some extra keys. Now this is the, the red version of it, the red keys. And they have a couple of different other ones. They have a, I think it's blue and brown. And that has to do with the type of um, pressure and clickiness of it. Um, I'll find the information of which one it is which, and I'll, and I'll put it here on the screen for you so you know which one is which. But this one is the red one that they sent me. You do get four replacement keys. Now, these are considered hot swappable keys. You can actually take these keys out to replace them, and that's what this little tool is here. This is what, you know, pops this out, and you can you can get to the uh, the pieces here to pull them out and replace them. So it's all replaceable, um, really nice there. Now, this is also considered kind of a gaming keyboard, the way it's respons responsive and mechanical. It's good for gaming. And then you are going to get a, uh, a little armrest a little wrist guard kind of thing so let's move that out of the way this just goes right up in here when it snaps in it's it's magnetic there you go and so now you have a nice little wrist support part of it there now let's go ahead and take a look uh, at the keyboard itself a little closer you do have you know your basic you got your number pad your keyboard here um your numbers are crossed but then you have your um function buttons that also do a whole bunch of different things you can control your volume and so on and so forth but this actually has a special little volume control button here you can um you can you know turn your audio on and off but then also adjust the volume with it there and then you also have some arrow keys um, separated so this is good for the gamers now on the back side you do have a couple of usb connectors so you can do some pass through stuff here so if you need to connect a um you know a mouse or anything else with usb you can connect it with this and then the usb c that's what the the charger cable or goes into the computer um does for you there now on the back side you do have some feet adjustments so you do have a, a short and a tall adjustment so if you want to tip the back of it up a little bit you can do two different um, uh, sizes there and there you got some rubber feet here this is your uh, one of the ways to connect it your Bluetooth little dongle so like I said there's actually three ways to connect this you can connect this with the uh, Bluetooth dongle you can connect it with Bluetooth just regular wirelessly or you can plug it in with the cable so three different ways to do it and um, from what I understand you actually can connect up to three Bluetooth devices with this so if you want to have this keyboard connected to a computer to a pad to a cell phone you can do three at the same time so that is pretty cool and then there's a little on off button here so there's an on off switch for the keyboard and then you have um, a, a B and a G and that has to do with going to Bluetooth or just like the plug-in part of it there so you want to switch it depending on how you have this hooked up 
on there. Now the the this is like a, like a metal frame. This is heavy duty, folks. This is not cheap plastic. This has got some some weight to it. Um, it's it's not going anywhere. I mean, look, my my table's actually shaking more than anything. It's it's a heavy duty, um, very good quality keyboard. Um, again, you can take the um, the, the keys out so if you just pop them out like that um, that's I, I use that in for that and then this here can go in and take out your there we go let me pop it out you just have to get a good grip on it um, there's I guess you could probably do it any any direction there but um, that, that pulls out the key so you can change these if you have a bad key or if you want to change it to a different kind of key um, you can do that and then this just pops right back in presses in like that and then you can put your button back on and you're good to go so a uh, really cool nice little thing to have if you are one that does this kind of stuff where you want to take it apart to clean it you can do that as well but very 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 nice um setup i'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and show you some of the other features i plugged it in and turned it on and um I'm, i turned all the studio lights down so you can see um the light on it the blue light now it is not flashing to my eyes you're seeing this on camera and so the led lights on camera do um, scroll and flash like that so i am not seeing that with my eyes so now if you hit the function enter button you'll see that line of lights line up there and that is your battery indicator so we've got a full battery here of course it's charging up um, as it's because it's plugged into my power supply as well um, so you can do that now there's also different ways you can um, set this up with the lights so if you hit the function page scroll you can see that it does different things um, you have a little wave pattern going on um, it's going to be doing all this stuff so you can set this to do all kinds of different light patterns if you want to you want to do some fancy stuff so now like if i hit a button it does that little wave thing you see what's going on on there um kind of cool um it goes to the side so you see anyways you, you get the idea there's all kinds of different settings you can do with that and you can uh, set the brightness for it um just a, a backlight speed you can do the different speeds for it and all that. So lots and lots of different settings you can do with this keyboard. Okay, and another thing you can do also is if you plug this in directly to a computer, you can download a, uh, a control software um, that you can actually control it through the software on a like a Windows platform and you can control all the different patterns and all that kind of stuff and and customize your keys if you want to customize it for different things you have to kind of do that with the um, with the app that they have or the program that they have now in the instruction manual they don't tell you that and they don't give you where to find it the only place I've been able to find it is on the um, on the Amazon uh, page advertisement for this particular product that's the only place that I have seen that they actually put the link um, uh, the, the the address you know the URL to download the program on your computer so you will have to go and check that out it is not included in the manual for some reason I've done several several videos on different keyboards from them super great keyboards that part they for some reason still don't have it in the manual but uh, it's pretty cool if you want to go and play with it but again if you're going to use this as a wireless keyboard that part's not going to matter because you're just going to do it wirelessly or just plug it in your computer however you want to do it um, but these are good quality uh, keyboards again heavy duty very tactile um, great for gaming or any kind of use at all so if you're looking for a good quality heavy duty keyboard this one may be the right one for you